Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here, another day in the 24 days of tea. This is day 22, if I'm not mistaken, so let's unravel and see what exactly unfolds for that day. Unfolds, rather. <laughs> hey, give me, cut me some slack, y'all. It's been... A little bit okay so oh right here at least we got some pattern this time around folks because yeah 21 day 21 was kind of lackluster with that teal box oh so we have satsuma spice cake which is sweet caramelized citrus Ah, nice. It's a black tea. And low caffeine. Well, sort of kind of nice. Alrighty, y'all. So this is a new tea. I will have this hot, ready, brewed, and ready to be sipped. So don't go anywhere. Alrighty, folks. And we're back. So, Satsuma Spice Cake. Let's talk about it. It's a black tea from David's Tea. And the ingredients are as follows. Black tea, apple, orange peel, pineapple, sugar, natural flavoring. Pretty simple. I, I could appreciate that. Uh, this is calling for one to two perfect spoons. I did two. Um, I would have liked to probably use the whole packet because there's like this little corner of tea left. So I doubt there's any additional, you know, I'm not going to get the full flavoring with the remainder of this tea versus what I'm going to taste now, but it is what it is. So it calls for 475 milliliters or 16 fluid ounces. I did 11, 10, 11 fluid ounces. Uh, cause that's what my current mug, um, can hold comfortably. Um, heated the water to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 95 degrees Celsius. Uh, the range is three to five minutes for steeping time. I cut it off at four minutes, a little over four minutes. But I tried to get in the median between those two, um, numbers. And like I said before, low caffeine. Better than no caffeine, but when I see black tea, I'm thinking it's going to have some caffeine on it. Or in it. So the smell, y'all. <laughs> the smell of this tea is... Oh, gosh. It's like tea and orange peel. Pretty much. Uh... Gosh, the scent really caught me off guard because it's almost got a medicinal characteristic to it. Like, it's not... I don't get spice cake. Then again, I don't really eat spice cake. But, yeah, I think the orange peel is really strong in this. And you get somewhat the black tea, maybe a little bit of apple not so much um with the remainder of what i have but yeah the smell <laughs> it's an acquired smell so yeah y'all this isn't a whole lot of tea left and i just spilled some on my freshly vacuumed carpet so that's wonderful but here we go y'all this is how the tea is looking that small little swash and the few crumbs of <laughs> black tea leaves that I let um, fall to the ground but not a lot of tea this isn't even enough for an eight ounce cup maybe a four ounce cup like half but yeah it's really just black tea leaves and crumbs of orange peel and maybe a sliver of apple. Or pineapple. Yep, so. Okay, well, at least the brewed liquid 
doesn't smell as pungent as the raw tea leaves and um fruits because i mean that smell was stronger but this is a bit more dilute so it's a bit more tolerable to my nose it it reminds me of um what is that big low tea and i've had it before um it's pretty much the same premise it's orange and spiced black tea. Constant comment. Constant comment. That's what this reminds me of. Pretty much. So, yeah, y'all. Um, kind of scared <laughs> from the smell of the raw tea. But the liquid kind of took down that anxiety a couple pegs. But here we go, y'all. Satsuma Spice Cake. Did I say that right? Yeah, Satsuma Spice Cake. Uh, no additional sweetener. Cheers, y'all. It really just tastes like orange peel or orange essence um, hot water. I really don't even taste the black tea. Like, I guess a little bit of the black tea comes through, but I'm mostly tasting the orange peel, y'all. And I, my, my um, other thing that I wanted to mention is that it the other fruits the apple the pineapple um they're like the black tea as an afterthought it really just tastes like orange hot water <laughs> and with the hint of black tea but not a whole lot it's not sweetened to the point where I would be like oh yes y'all it doesn't need any sweetener. Because, you know, I have no problem telling you uh, that, okay, this tea is very sweet, surprisingly. Or, no, it's not that sweet. Like I've been saying throughout this special, the teas are not, um, they're not adequately sweet, even for me. And I'm trying to cut back on the sweetener. So... Even so, like, it doesn't taste as um, sweet as one would think, you know, that they pre-sweetened it. But, that is not a problem because we're going back to the Kiawe honey. I know y'all missed it. I've missed it too. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do this amount. Which is pretty much a perfect spoon. But I realized I shouldn't have did that. Okay, we gotta agitate a little bit more. But yeah, this tea reminds me of Constant Comment. The Big Low tea and like Big Low, it's pretty much easy to find in grocery stores and department stores. Um all around the U.S. and I think even um, the United Kingdom. So yeah, um, if you, <laughs> and I think Big Low, I'll save it for after the, I taste this um, tea sweetened. So here we go. This is Satsuma Spice Cake, sweetened additionally with a helping of honey. And cheers, y'all. So, I mean, I was expecting that, but I wasn't expecting that, if that makes sense, y'all. 
this tea when sweetened, it really tastes like an orange. Um, well, I don't want to say spice cake because I, I really don't eat spice cake. So I, I mean, well, duh, Sasha, spice cake is uh your typical cake with like a bunch of spices embedded in it. Yes, I get that, y'all. But when I think of spice cake, I'm thinking something like a similar or akin to a gingerbread where, you know, your spices are the main flavor, the main palatability of the recipe. When you give me this tea and call it a spice cake, it's like I'm only tasting orange. Really. And like, I'm not even tasting the black tea. I'm just tasting orange. So, it's baffling. I mean, the orange, it's prevalent and it is nice tasting. But, it's one of those um, teas that, why did you name it this? I mean, I think a better name for it would have been... Satsuma orange. I'm not getting spice cake with this. And even with the um, ingredients. Like are you just for the cake flavoring. Are you just going for um, sugar and natural flavoring. And that should cover it. It's verdict time y'all. So in the case of Satsuma spice cake. Out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad. First, for no additional sweetener, I would rate this. I'd rate this an okay. It's an okay. And the reason for that being is, like I said, it just tastes like orange water. Hot orange water. I don't even get the taste of black tea. And that's the first ingredient. So that should say a lot. In fact, when I was spooning this stuff out, y'all. Um, it really just tasted like. Uh, or it just looked like a bunch of orange pieces. And maybe a few um, pineapple pieces and apple pieces. But I... You know, got some black tea at the end. Okay. So, you know, it was baffling to me that um, they want to call this a cake. But this does not taste anything like a cake. It just tasted like hot orange water. Orange oil water or orange peel water. Um, the tea was not... Sweet, like I said, it was not inherently sweet, even with the sugar that they put with this tea. And for natural flavoring, I guess they wanted to mimic that of a cake, uh, be it like a vanilla cake or something basic. I guess you know, vanilla cake or angel food cake or some some stuff like that. But I didn't get anything like that. So I mean, with the natural flavoring, what purpose did it serve? I think they should have rebranded this um, tea as saying Satsuma Orange versus Satsuma Spice Cake. And its description, sweet caramelized citrus. Okay, well, pretty much only the citrus you got right. The fact that, you know, having this tea on its own and calling it sweet, mm-mm. Um, caramelized, like, I did not taste any note of flavoring, um, that would strike it as cake-like, but I guess that's what they went with, and there are no spices within this cake, that's the big thing, how are you calling this a spice cake when there's no spices, you don't have your cinnamon, you don't have your clove, you don't have your star anise, you don't have, um, nutmeg, like, what what spices are in a spice cake, and how come y'all didn't include that, you know, with this tea blend? That's what strikes me as very odd, you know. So, 
if you called this Satsuma Orange, I probably would have gave it a better okay. Or maybe not. I, I would have probably given, uh, given it a good because I know it's um, orange, but... You know, maybe you should have omitted the sugar and um, focused on just Satsuma Orange. Now, when I sweetened it, though, we'll move along. When I sweetened this tea with the honey um, for Satsuma Spice Cake out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad with the honey now, that is a good... It tastes like an orange icing cakes cake-ish sort of deal. It's not um it's not cake guaranteed because let me tell you y'all something. One tea company that nails the cake flavor and you know their description is spot on with what the taste of the tea is like and i've said this time and time again it's republic of teas cup of cake line try their teas out i promise you even like without milk or dairy or whatever even without any milk those cup of cake teas mimic down to a tea a slice of blueberry bunt cake lemon chiffon cake a uh, caramel cake, a uh, gingerbread cake. So I don't understand why this loose leaf tea cannot do the same, but a bag tea um, knocks it out the park when it's talking about a cake like tea. Uh, a little bit closer to a cake, like an orange icing cake. But it's still, um, like, I know this is tea. This isn't, like, cake, cake. Like, you're not fooling anybody. Um, and, yeah, it's just that I would have liked to have, um, because I would have liked to have tasted uh, something of Republic of Tea's caliber. Like, they set the bar so high. And, trust me, um, when you can fool people into thinking they're having dessert by their, by your tea alone, that is something in itself. And I'm surprised that many people are talking about, um, you know, the cup of cake tea line, because I think it's a wonderful tea. And, um, I don't think I've tried it in front of you all, but, um, you know, I'd love to try it. Um, somewhere down the line. Somewhere down the line. Um, yeah, but this tea, it's a, um, when it's sweetened, it's a better okay. Borderline good, but still, it just tastes like sweet orange tea, if anything. I don't, it's closer to a cake, but it's not, like, cup of cake tier, um dessert tea you know what i'm saying so that is it was an interesting tea i give them that it was interesting um to see orange be shoved into the spotlight because orange is another fruit um that doesn't get as much love as like lemon in tea like raspberry and tea like um Lemon, raspberry, those are pretty much the two fruits, to, the go-to fruits for a lot of tea companies. So, nice to see orange in the forefront, but I would reconsider changing the name from Satsuma Spice Cake to Satsuma Orange. Because, really, I'm not getting spice cake with this tea. It tastes more orange, if anything. Would I get this tea? Um... Would I get this tea as a 2 ounce or a 50 gram package? Of course not. No way. Like, it, um, like there are a bunch of better orange teas. Like I said, um, constant comment. I, I, I um, 
broke train of thought because I wanted to get my verdict in before I say um, anything else about Constant Comment. Constant Comment, like from Big Low, their flavor, their orange and spice flavoring comes out a whole lot better than Satsuma Spice Cake. And that's crazy because Satsuma Spice Cake is a loose leaf tea. And what do we say about loose leaf teas, y'all? Loose leaf teas have more um, potency, more, um, you know, it's more potent, it's more vibrant, more bold, bag tea. We don't know what the heck the quality of the leaves are. Um, and, like, they could be using, like, bleach bag teas and this, that, and the other. You know, there's um a whole bunch of pros and cons to loose leaf tea or bag tea. I like them both. I'm not um, going to discriminate. But Constant Comment has a much better flavoring of orange, of spices, and of black tea. I know I'm getting those three. But with Satsuma Spice Cake, only the orange, no spices, and the black tea is pretty much non-existent as well. So, and I mean, hey, y'all may um, tell me in the comments, but Sasha, constant comment load um, is loaded with a bunch of artificial flavoring and this, that, and the other. Okay, I get it. I get it. I doubt it. But I get it. I mean, um, David, like, we can't uh, ignore David's tea not doing the same because they do have a lot of teas with artificial flavoring. Um, and if that's the one that's more pronounced, then so be it. But yeah, with the natural flavoring, I do not know what they were flavoring. Oh, that's all. I do not know what they were flavoring, but. It should have been spent on the spices. You should have just put some spices in. When your um, ingredients line is like two lines and barely two lines at that, um, you know, it's cause for concern because when you're naming a tea, one thing, I'm expecting something on the tier of constant comment from Big Low. But when I taste it, it falls flat. And when I smelled the tea, it was potent. It was like almost medicinal. So um, really the orange peel. It was really the orange peel that does that. So they have a lot of orange peel in it. The tea came out like an orange peel. <laughs> like call it what it is. Orange peel, orange oil, hot water. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of let down by this one because I don't mind. Well, no, I, I, I do mind, but like constant comment was the one that kind of broke the mold when it came to, uh, me not liking spice and fruity okay so i was hoping this would do the same but like no nah, i'm not getting anything from this i wanted to you know have like a constant comment um sort of tea and it fell completely flat y'all point blank period it fell flat and i hate that i hate that i hate that because it, it you know orange um flavored teas they're few and far between and then um you're talking good orange teas they're even like a equivalent to a needle in a haystack sort of deal so i mean yeah you could probably just infuse your own orange into teas that's fine and dandy but i'm hoping like a lot of tea companies catch on to like making orange um you know a good mainstay in, as a you know fruit flavor for teas but 
that's just me. And I probably went on a way long tangent that I have to edit this out. But, folks, that's going to do it for day 22. Um, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk. Don't be a stranger. Leave it in the comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Have you tried Satsuma Spice Cake? Um, what are your feelings on it? Um, like I said yesterday, I believe. Um, what you gonna call it? Like I said, I do not like the combination of fruity and spicy, or something and spicy. But there are exceptions to the rule. So, I mean, constant comment now that I'm thinking about it. That was, that's one of the main exceptions. Because I really did like how that tea tasted. And, um, you know, I, I go in with the negative bias and then constant comment just blows past it. And, you know, it's one of my favorite teas. Um, definitely to have high, I wouldn't say iced. Uh, but... That, you know, in and it of itself, I like to have teas that break my bias barrier, you know. But um, this one didn't do that. And, you know, when you, when you call it something, I'm going in with the preconceived notion that it's going to taste spicy. It's going to be a bit of citrus with the orange peel. But... It's mainly going to be like constant comment. And no, that wasn't the case. So yeah, it's a big list side. But still going to finish my tea. And um, yeah, I really should have just um, dumped the whole package. Because I don't see myself enjoying this tea any further. So it is what it is with that. And folks... Um... Two more days to go. My goodness. And also, ladies and gents, um, I will definitely get on that video later on today. Um, <laughs> I want to I wanna hear your thoughts and opinions on it. But we're going through the motions, y'all. And um, yeah. That's going to do it for day 22. Thank you all for watching. I can never thank you enough. Really appreciate it. Take care. Make it a great day today and every day. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And yeah, this is Sasha signing off. So until next video, my friends. Take care. Bye now.